Ken Mullay here with a tip from the library. The vast majority of business webinars consist of narration over PowerPoint slides, and that's fine. People are used to it and expect it. You can find lots of resources on the web that'll help you design better slides. In this video, I'm going to cover the four most important things to remember. First, don't design your slides to just list a bunch of facts and data. The purpose of your webinar should never be to replace a textbook or data sheet. Concentrate instead on what your audience can do with the facts. Facts are easy to look up. Your job is to help your audience achieve a benefit by applying the knowledge or insights that you give them. Your data points are never the star of your presentation. Your manipulation of the data to create listener value, that's the takeaway. Second, don't use slides as a teleprompter script. Your audience can read faster than you can talk. If they see you just reading lines of text to them off a slide, they ask for a copy of the slides, and they leave. Why should they waste their time listening to you read the information out loud when they can scan it faster on their own? Slides are there to provide a little visual backup and illustration of the points you're making in your speech. You should be the expert, not your slides. Third. Design as if everybody's watching on a poorly calibrated mobile phone in bright sunlight. Your content needs to be big and easily understandable, even on tiny screens. You don't want to use subtle color variations. You want big, contrasting colors that stand out from each other, even if your viewers have their color and brightness controls all messed up. No tables filled with tiny numbers, and no graphs with lines made up of light green, medium green, and dark green. You should never find yourself saying, I know you can't read this, but if they can't read it, don't include it. Redesign it. And fourth, check your content against your promotional copy. Are you delivering on the promises you made that got people to sign up and attend your webinar? They came into the webinar expecting to receive very specific information and value. Make sure you meet those expectations. Give the audience what they came for. Do it fast. Be explicit about it. Frustrating an audience with long introductory sections and making them feel like the victims of a bait and switch operation is one of the worst ways to position yourself and your business. Since I mentioned webinar promotion, you might want to check out my tips on promotion and marketing, which you can get to by clicking here. Or you can always head back to the index page to pick another topic. Thanks for watching.